What's good? It's your boy D-Pain Clayne, and I'm back with another reaction to another trending song that's been all over social media. This is the J. Cole song he dropped. I believe he actually dropped it on his Instagram first, Port Antonio, which is supposed to be apparently a response to the J. Cole and, or not J. Cole, see? Um, that's who made the song, obviously. Kendrick Lamar and Drake View, the beef, which don't make sense to me. How you making a response to somebody else's beef? And you dropped a seven minute diss track before that you took back, which is weird. But I'm not tripping, J. Cole, he do go hard. He do go hard, he is like that. So I do wanna hear what he gotta say. They said he had some direct responses though to some things that were said during the during the beef between K-Dot and Drake. So I'm excited, we finna check it out. We gonna get right into it. If you are not subscribed to the video before we start, like last video, I told you this. If you seeing this and you ain't subscribed last time, I ain't mad at you. But I'm gonna give you a little bit more time this time to just scroll down. Go subscribe to the video, leave a comment, say something to me, and then let's get into it. Let me know who you think came out on top, Drake or Kendrick. I think the answer pretty obvious. And let me hear if you think J. Cole really should be speaking on it or if he should have just let it be. Let's check this out, though. What's going on? Is it not a video? Is it just the... Okay. Hold on. I already know. I'm going to need the headphones. I'm going to have to be able to hear that. You feel me? This is one of them ones. You're going to have to hear it. I would turn on these YouTube captions, but they be tripping. I ain't got time for it. Okay. Vibe to it. Young Jermaine walked the straight and narrow. Minimum wage jobs for like come on YouTube. Y'all doing me dirty. All right. He said, what did he say? Young Jermaine? That man said young chain. What he I'm just locked in listening. I'ma leave the lyrics down there. Don't mind them. Let me know in the comments if y'all think I should just not even do the lyrics on YouTube. Cause they be tweaked out. Ride to it. Young Jermaine walked the straight and narrow. Minimum wage jobs for the narrow. But still my mind was on the zeros. I fiend for the perks that was seen flipping birds. So we were skipping church, but my eyes was on the sparrows. Niggas flipping pies, spending thousands on apparel. Shit, I wanna shine too. I want dimes too. Jealous niggas wanna know just how my rhymes blew. Mono we mono, I'm bono, I'm you times two. Now I'm bougie, I done out crew the fountain blue. But never forgot the spot where I developed my plot. The dwell at the top, the veil where all my skeletons lock. If I could do oh, it all, I'd Sometimes my mind gets to run and I hear one thing and I start thinking about what he's saying and then I miss the next two, three lines, bruh. Because I, I, when he's spitting, bruh, you got to really listen to what he's saying. He's talking about something specific every time. Mono, I'm Bono, I'm you times two. Now I'm bougie, I done out crew the fountain blue. But never forgot the spot where I developed my plot. The dwell at the top, the veil where all my skeletons lock. If I could do it all over, then I never would swap. I seen good, I seen bad, had my melanin mock. I seen lifelong friends turn to devilish ops. I was Mike and Red Leather trying to tell them to stop. You better beat it for you see that heavy metal get popped. He was a mean ass wing with a hell of a shot. But if no team draft king, he gon' bet on the block. He wanna ball till he fall until the federals knock. And sit his ass on the bench for moving careless with rock. You can't relate unless your father was not around. And your mother went out and found someone else and they brought him around. And they salaries didn't combine. When they married and brought you out of that poverty, then you moved to a soft little part of town. So that when you back in the hood, you feel awkward about it now. Then your confidence start to drown. But the rapper gave you some positive thoughts so you jot them down. Oh, no. I don't know if I missed something. I don't think he said anything directly to Kendrick or Drake. I mean, it's some stuff that you could, like, say subliminally. He could be, t but I've heard that he not dissing him. So, and it's J. Cole. He always trying to keep the peace. So, anything that he's saying that sound like it could be a shot, I don't really think it's a shot. I think if anybody, he could low-key be taking a shot at Jay-Z on the low-low. But, I mean, like, even then, that's far-fetched, but... 
I mean, he did say he um what did he say he lost his spot or he got out of um his spot from the fountain of blue. I mean, he could be saying um he got out he he free from the chains of Jay Z, who I mean he the fountain of blue because blue I mean blue came from him. But other than that, like I think he's really like that's far fetched, like I said. But I don't think he didn't say nothing really per se about Kendrick or Drake. But let's keep let's dive back in and see what's going on. Jot him down. Ride to it. Ride to it. I like that part. Ride to it. Ride to it. Ride to it. Ride to it. I mix it up. Vibe to it. Y'all niggas ain't stopping me. Y'all niggas ain't stopping me. Yeah. niggas ain't stopping me. Stopping me. Y'all ain't stopping me. Y'all ain't stopping me. Yeah. Uh, Benjamin Button, cold flows reverse time To find deliveries good as mine, you gotta search primes I'm scaling heights higher than birds can perch Trying to be something, hoping that peace comes to my cursed mind One thing's for sure that I've matured from my first rhyme I learned long ago you can't please them all and it hurts trying mm -hmm. In this game where all you've got is your name like dirt I'm smirking at niggas trying to be smirched mine Absurd times, but a fake get told it is wise I can see hating both of your eyes, but the third's blind So you search lines but you struggle, which explains the puzzled look on the dull faces the word finds. I hate when raps become, but like, do not disturb signs. Can't knock it if I see it's about the dough. They instigate the fuckery because it's profitable. But singing stop the violence tools with dudes in hospitals. I pulled the plug because I've seen where that was about to go. They wanted blood, they wanted. Seen this right here. He, I've seen him talk about it on Twitter and TikTok. This is the part right here. He said why he pulled the plug. So this is the reason why he backed out. This is why he deleted his verse. Or not even his verse. A whole seven-minute freestyle, which is crazy. But we're going to listen to him. He, he trying to explain himself. He trying to win his street cred back. Oh, they instigate the fuckery because it's profitable. But saying stop the violence tools with dudes in hospitals. I pulled the plug because I've seen where that was about to go. They wanted blood. They wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. They see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost the battle dog. I would have lost the bro. I would have gained the phone and off of what. Hold on. He said he wouldn't have lost the battle. He would have lost the bro. So he said it's trying to keep the peace. But here again, like I said, he low key could be saying that he he think lyric like he think he could have torched Kendrick. He think he could have came out on top. He think he could have ruined their relationship because of Kendrick Drake. They didn't like each other, but it's out there. It's open air right now that yeah, no, we don't like each other. I don't like you. I don't want nothing to do with you. It would have been the same way if you would have been beefing with Kendrick or Drake as J. Cole during that time because y'all was at the top three, bruh. So, like, I don't know. You could be saying that you low-key could have torched Kendrick as well. But you see how Kendrick could be on some crazy stuff right now. I hear this and be like, oh, yeah, for real? Try me and see if you respond. But you can't respond after you've done what you've done. You in a weird spot. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's not really. It don't hit as hard when you back out of a battle that you stepped into. You could have just stayed silent the whole time. I wouldn't have lost the battle dog, I would have lost the bro. I would have gained the phone, and all for what? Just to attain some old props from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for since the age of 14. Jermaine is no king, if that means I gotta dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing on social media, competing for your favorable memes to be... See, no, I don't care. That's a diss. Like, that's actually, that's low-key a diss because you, and it can go to both people. It's not directed. But that's a diss to Kendrick and to Drake because everybody kept saying they was using bots. They was using the algorithm. Drake accused Kendrick, really, that's the main one, of using the um, Spotify algorithm and bots to boost his views. So, I don't know. That's kind, that's kind of, you can say that's kind of a diss or he trying to take a shot. Especially if you ain't got nothing to back that up. You just saying that they paid, paid people off and they paid social media to promote the music, which that ain't even right, bro. I don't think that was what happened. They paid people to get in information, but that's like a private guest. In I can't even talk. A private investigator. Uh, no. Uh, no. Let me know what y'all think. Make sure y'all subscribe. Competing for your favorable means to be considered best to live and rest. The weight of both things. I understand the thirst of being first that made them both swing, protecting legacies. So lines got crossed, perhaps regrettably. My friends went to war. I walked away with all they blood on me. Now some will discredit me. How you walk away with they blood on you? It ain't have nothing to do with you, Jay. Jay, come on, Jay. Did I call him Jake from State Farm? It had as much to do with you as Jake from State Farm, brother. You backed out of it. They not like us. 
They, it was about um Drake, and he mentioned you. But come on, dog. It wasn't a diss on you, bro. You ain't got no blood on you. Try wipe away my pedigree, but please find a nigga out that's rapping this incredibly. Uh, my dog texted me, I shared the words he said to me. If you refuse to shoot the gun, don't mean the gun ain't deadly. Uh, I guess in that metaphor, hypothetically, the gun is me. I text her back like, guess a gun ain't what I'm trying to be, my nigga. They stripped me of my spot, and now I'm finally free, my nigga. They say I'm picking sides, don't you lie on me, my nigga. To start another war, a Drake, you'll always be my nigga. Mm. I ain't ashamed to say you. Y'all heard, he's at a Drake, like, <laughs> like Kendrick said, say Drake. I hate you like I'm young. He's at a Drake. You'll always be, yeah, hold on, hold on. So he not beat, like, he ain't got no beef with Drake, which obviously, but he cool with Drake. And I seen him say it online, that this is another way they trying to say that mean Kendrick lying. But then at the same time, J. Cole could just be putting stuff in his rap saying, we cool with me. He ain't trying to burn a bridge. But listen to that flow. Listen to how he said that the cadence. They stripped me of my spot and now I'm finally free, my nigga. And Loki saying they stripped me of my spot and I'm finally free. Man, he could be saying something deeper. That's got something to do with Diddy. No, it don't. Say I'm picking sides, they don't you lie on me, my nigga. To start another war, a Drake, you'll always be my nigga. I ain't ashamed to say you did a lot for me, my nigga. Fuck all the narratives. Tapping back into your magic pen is what's imperative. Reminding these folks why we do it. It's not for beefing, it's for speaking our thoughts, pushing ourselves, reaching the charts, reaching your mind. Yeah. Hold on, that was hard. That was hard. Reminding these folks why we do it. It's not for beefing, it's for speaking our thoughts, pushing ourselves, reaching the charts, reaching Yeah. Speaking our thoughts, pushing ourselves, reaching the charts. Let's go. That boy going stupid. Folks, why we do it? It's not for beefing, it's for speaking our thoughts, pushing ourselves. Reaching the charts, reaching your minds, keeping your hearts, creeping up mind. Yeah. To touch something inside to open you up, help you cope with the rough times. And Go shit. with the rough times, yeah. 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 Ain't stopping me. 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 Y'all ain't stopping me. Let's go, bruh. Look, I almost restarted it, but hey, let me know down in the comments down below. Because I mean, I really ain't got much to say afterwards. I said everything I thought during it. I got to listen to it again, really get more so I can like get more of an opinion. So then I can continue to conversate, speak with y'all in the comments. But when I go live on the channel, we can conversate. We can watch it again. Y'all just talk to me down below in the comments. Like I said, subscribe. Just let me know something. I think the song went hard. I think it's kind of funny that he responded like three months later. But it is what it is. If you like this video, man, if you like the song, if you like the breakdown, if you want to talk about it, discuss it further, if you got anything to add into the conversation, do that down below, comment. But make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can be here, receive notifications anytime we drop a video. If you do that, we're going to turn up and I'm going to see you next time.